Today I will give you 10 tips to improve your gameplay for the Neural Cloud. These tips will definitely help free to play to proceed faster. If you feel this video is helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. The first tip is to teach you how to break the limit of the number of functions. We all know that there is an upper limit for our functions in the dungeon. For example, I have 18 online cards here. I will teach you how to get one more online card. Before we fight the boss, we can use overclocking to get a selected function card. Maybe some players gonna say it only shows that they get a random function card. This is because I upgraded the overclocking function in strategic technology. No matter whether you upgrade the overclocking function or not, you can get one extra function. Don't worry about that. Back to our overclocking selection page, we can spend 50 to manually select a function card. After selection, we found that we have 19 function cards, and the system does not require you to delete one. I hope the developer doesn't consider it a bug. So we can keep exploiting it. The second tip, players can freely choose the reward materials for each clearance. The more materials you choose, the more energy you consume. If you want all of them, you can get a 10% discount. If there are unnecessary breakthrough materials, you can drop them. Another hint here, the experience pack is important and rare in this game. It is always recommended to take all the experience packs, and although many strategies recommend not to take all the materials, I personally like to take all. After all, you can get 10% off. If you only drop one or two of the materials, you will consume even more energy. For example, here I dropped the warrior's breakthrough materials, it cost me 88 energy. If I take all, it only cost 83. The third tip, only the main campaign and the dark domain have an assist limit of 5 times a day. The rest of the dungeons, including the material dungeons, the algorithm one, the fragment one, and the vulnerability investigation and endless exploration, all have unlimited times to assist so you can borrow Will's doll indefinitely, which leads to almost no difficulty in the material dungeons. Fourthly, let's talk about how many people don't know that endless exploration can be played 50 meters per round. I still remember, I cursed the developer when I fought 10 meters per round in the tester server. Whoever watched this tip gonna save tons of time. Thank me later. Fifthly, every day the advanced algorithm drop from the dungeon is not the same. The specific drop situation can be viewed in the game. Sixthly, it is not recommended to buy all kinds of materials with cores for free-to-play and low spenders, for instance, spend cores to buy the production capacity of the processing plant, buy the materials in the supply, or for furniture cones. Seventhly, attack and calculation power are two different concepts. We can understand attack power as a physical attack and calculation power as a magic attack. A typical example is the output of Chanji and Hubble. Chanji is mainly linked to attack power, while Hubble's skill output is mainly linked to calculation power. Eighthly, after the search terminal in the Oasis is upgraded to level 5, there is a probability that the two free star dolls, Banksy and Jin, can be drawn from the technical search. But the materials consumed by upgrading the retrieval terminal are too much, and the probability of free star dolls is too low. There is no need for you to upgrade the building for free star dolls. Prioritize the command center and engineering bureau. Ninthly, the attribute improvement brought by the character's intimacy can also be upgraded. Most people only upgrade the intimacy to level 6, because level 6 can unlock all the fragments. In fact, continuing to upgrade intimacy can improve additional attributes. If you look at this page and click here, this thing can be upgraded. It's hidden too well. Tenthly, upgrade Pascal's active skill healing wave to level 5 and then 9. The effect is phenomenal. A low level healing wave can only bounce once. It can bounce twice at level 5 and 3 times after level 9. The healing power is huge after level 9. Therefore, the upgrade priority of this skill is extremely high. There is no other skill in the game that has such a big improvement. Pascal is indeed the best friend of our free to play. That is all for today's content. Thanks for watching to the end. Please like and subscribe before closing it. Peace out. Playa.
今度は本物の海だねラーリン